I want to take a look at the NFC playoff seeding right now after this past week, these past week's games. And currently, the Lions are still first in the NFC North, winning another one, nine and one. The Vikings are second, eight and two, and the Packers are third in the NFC North at seven and three. The Bears have slowly fallen behind in the NFC North now at four and six. If it wasn't for that failed Hail Mary against Washington and the blocked kick this past week by Carl Brooks, the Bears would be sitting at six and four, would be much closer with the Packers, but luckily the Packers were able to get a hand on that kick to lead them being seven and three. And so I think we all knew that coming into the season, it really did look like the NFC North would be one of the better divisions in football. I honestly thought the Vikings would be in the last place with Sam Darnold, but they have really played very well, a game ahead of the Packers. And I brought it up last week. It's going to be tough for the Packers to win the NFC North just because they're two games behind the Lions and considering the Lions already beat the Packers and their record in the division. They you know, probably have the upper hand when it comes to tiebreakers come season's end if we do have the same record. So best case scenario, the Packers gain three games on the Lions, which now with seven games left, that's going to be really tough unless the Lions just completely fall apart. So we could be looking at the Packers being a fifth or sixth seed if they continue at this rate behind the Lions, you know, being with the five through seven seeds being the wild card teams. And currently, Lions are the one seed, Eagles are the two seed at eight and two, Cardinals are the three seed at six and four, Falcons are the fourth seed at six and five, Vikings are the fifth seed at eight and two, Packers sixth seed at seven and three, and then Commanders seventh seed at seven and four. And if you look at some of these teams on the bubble, you got the Rams, Seahawks, and Niners at five and five. So currently the Packers are two games ahead from those teams trying to vie for a wild card spot. So I'd say they're in a somewhat good position. Seven and three is not bad. Uh, but considering how good the NFC North is, that's why they're one of the wild card teams. If they were in the you know NFC South or NFC West, they would be in the first place in those divisions currently. And honestly, thinking about playoff time, I I don't think it's a terrible thing if the Packers are you know one of the lower seeds. I do feel like this team with a lot of youth, even though they have proven a lot more than last season, I feel like they do thrive being more of an underdog. Not that they can't play well, being seen as a good team, because I think they have this year. There's been a lot more expectation. They've still played, for the most part, pretty solid, sitting at 7-3. and three. But I don't think it's the end of the world for them to be more of an underdog-type team coming into the playoffs, being a six seed, potentially. If it were to stay as it is right now, they play the Cardinals, uh, number three versus number six. We already beat them. I think the Packers would have a very good chance to go into Arizona and beating the Cardinals. So I think you want the one seed because you get a bye. And, uh, you know, you don't have to play that first game, which obviously is a is a big deal. Last year, the Packers entered the seventh seed, beat the Cowboys, played a pretty close game against the Niners. So um, hopefully the Packers can, you know, potentially push for the top seed or top spot in the NFC North. It's going to take a a big step down for the Lions and a, and a really great end of the season for the Packers. We do play the, the Vikings and Lions once each and the Bears once again in these final seven games. And so things could fluctuate there, but that's sort of where it stands currently for the Packers and the playoff seating. If you want more Packers content, feel free to follow me on X slash Twitter at LukeBeller3. And if you want more Packers content here, make sure you turn the notifications so you don't miss any news. And I'll see you guys next time.